Remember those beds we built with 100 year old family wood? Well, we decided to use it as a garden bed rather than for the gray water system. I have to put a, a, a liner in, in the um, what we made, but it could get pinched down the road and then, you know, we get leaked. So I don't want to deal with that. I just want something rugged where I know it's going to always hold water. And so we're going to tubs. So we used a metal trough instead. But before we go through the process, we've been getting some questions regarding how and why we're building our gray water system. For us, the goal is simple, to reuse our water and to save money, and of course, to help our environment. Now for the process. We dug a hole for the sump pump. <laughs> it's, it's pulling you? I don't know about wearing samples for this job. <laughs> we cut the tubes to connect the system. This pipe is coming from the kitchen sink. So from the kitchen sink, it goes into the grease trap. Okay, that pipe is coming from the bathtub or the bathroom sink. And this is actually coming from the toilet. So this is urine. It all goes into the sump pump. And once the sump pump float gets to a certain point, it cuts the motor on. The motor pumps the water through here, down into the basin, and it slowly rises up and the rest of it is ejected out through the holes into our leach field. And that will eventually... Yeah, we'll eventually daisy chain more of these together. So we'll have a few of these just continuously cleaning the water. And, and pretty so much everything else we used inside the troughs, we got right from our land. We'll layer the troughs starting with two sizes of rocks, native soil, charcoal, native sand, compost, and then of course, our native plants. First, we had to gather the rocks. Then we had to figure out the best way to transport them. We struggled to get the wheelbarrow moving. I was rocking it and you were pulling oh, okay. against me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. I think that was the hardest part. Okay. okay. You wanna run? <laughs> Is it easier? Yeah. Okay. Great. So we thought. Okay. That's a long way. So what if we cut through the grass? Yeah. Maybe you think that would be cutting unless it's boom, boom. The truck may have been the faster route. We thought. We didn't listen to the 14 year old who said just put it in the truck because we thought all of these rocks to shovel into the truck. Shovel into the truck. I thought I told shovel you I feel like truck. I was doing this again. You were dancing. And then we were gonna go and then we have to unload the truck. Yeah. Unload the truck. And then do it again. And yeah, we thought that was gonna be more work, but are you? Uh, wait, wait, okay, sorry. I want all that energy <laughs> when it's time. Right here, okay, here we go. So 14 um, year old, do you think it's gonna be better to go through the grass? No. No? no? You think we should go up this hill? All the way around there. This time we listened. Show how close we are. We're so close. Oh, it is. Wait, listen. We can't keep stopping. We can't keep stopping because the more you rest, the harder it is. Okay. So we just gotta go. No cars. We gotta just go, right, okay? Here we go. No more stopping. Right? Okay.
Okay, but let's see with this grip. Okay. No. No? Because it's just not flat. Okay, so you're going to the rocks? Well, you gotta go to the grass at some point. I know, but let's find the best. See how this is? No. We're gonna have to go to the grass. We came through worse conditions. <laughs> Look at, no. Oh, did you get that? Because getting it down, and it's getting it back up. No, let's just go. Sophia, I said we weren't stopping. You stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of the truck. All right. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> me and dad, me and dad did that entire thing in three stops, by the way. <laughs> Obviously, no compassion there. So we womaned up and dumped the rocks. We gotta um, feel this one more time. I think we got this. We got this. Sophia. Be strong. <sighs> <laughs> we got it. All right, now we gotta take this back. Okay, can I'll we just throw it? No, we can go across the <laughs> can we just <laughs> throw it? We let the young book mm -hmm. take over and take the uh, wheelbarrow yeah. back. We were walking across the field, and uh, we're going for round two. It's time for lunch. It's break time. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you've been waiting for a break. Yeah. All right, we're gonna eat. Ooh, thanks to mom, it smells so good. You're welcome. <laughs> Here's a sneak oh, peek of some of the yummy plant-based meals that's been getting us through all of this strenuous work. Okay, back to work. All right, so we've got a new plan. <laughs> so we decided that we are going to use buckets instead because once we fill the wheelbarrow, it's too heavy for us to put into the truck. Right. So we decided we're just going to fill these buckets and dump them in the back of the truck and then drive the truck over to where we want the rocks and just push them out. Yep. Looks like your mom is working harder than you. What? I have two buckets. Because you're behind the camera. Miss Bird. You're working harder than her. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm a country farm girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, you don't look at your mother that way. I didn't say anything. Your face said it. But I didn't say anything. But yes, it's too, it's too long <gasps> to get the wheelbarrow. No! What happened? It's splitting the bucket. It's splitting. No. Sophia did it. I what? There. The jury is still out on who actually broke the bucket, but this time I was the one reassigned to being the runner. And just like that, that part of the project was done. layer, big rocks. All right, it's time to get the smaller rock. Now for the native soil. Wicking bed. So there'll always be water at about this level in here, always. Okay. So the plants, we'll put some compost after the sand and the compost, but the roots of the plant will always be able to 
go in there and get water as they need it. So kind of once we set this up, as we we really won't have to water it. Mm -hmm. We'll just Amazing. daisy chain them together. Wow. So this is the gray water, so this is how everything gets clean. Well, Touch the earth, right? Yeah, touch I, the earth. I'm grounding right now. Right. <laughs> Eat green, get sun. Somewhat. Stay yeah. grounded. Next, we dump the charcoal from a recent burn. Another reason why the forest floor thrives after a fire because there's new carbon in there. We're using it as another layer to clean the water. So what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do here is if the water comes up from underneath, that's water coming from the gray water. And I want it to run also past the charcoal as well as the plants cleaning it. We then covered the charcoal with soil from the land, added compost. The 14-year-old who took our job. Work it. Work it. <laughs> Get dirty on purpose. With a purpose. Work that soil, boy. <laughs> Every encouragement is positive encouragement. Every dream of a 14 year old to shift compost around in this gray water right. system, right? right? Not Minecraft, but this. And me being a teacher, you know. You know I, that to be right. true, right? right. <laughs> All right, come on, we're talking too much. Get back to work. That means it's time to plant. Look at this soil. We dug the holes for the plants and started arranging so the flowers in the beds. Why, why are you putting mine out of the way? Because you're planting right there. You just want to fight. No. I, I was helping you. What is that? It's a spider. Oh. Okay. These will let him be. Okay, I'm waiting. Why do you want to fight? No fight. You always want to fight. I was just... Good job. Now let's look at our beautiful... Planting. Good job. Don't, can you not <laughs> fall right now? What? What just, and why are you even stepping on that? That's for the what? gutters. So I we're. To step over. We're in the middle, as you can see here. I'll show you the gutters. So we are doing something a little differently, and we'll explain in another episode, but we are putting our gutters all around at the bottom versus what you all normally see is the top. So we'll give you a little more of that but we are working on that right now so that's time? what this is and Sophia just I don't know why she thought it was okay to even step on I it stepped no over. no see look do you see trouble. stop it look look at that the professor, that's her footprint so that's not stepping over is not here why are you I'm telling oh god there's the 14 year old <laughs> oh god he's got a tail can I wipe it yes you can clean your hands now Oh, you're gonna wipe this because you're. Oh, you're getting rid of the evidence, but it's. But I have it on camera. You're not. You're It'll not getting disappear. rid of the. It's gonna disappear. No. We're not speaking of this ever again. Okay, so we'll talk about the plants instead. Okay, so we had another idea. We're out in front of bonfire, and this is Sophia's view every morning. Every morning. But these blue bonnets are native to the land, so you know we've been trying to be sufficient, self-sufficient, right. sustainable. So they have just popped up from the rains, and yeah. So gorgeous. we're gonna grab some of these and try and transplant them into our gray water bed. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. We're gonna just keep it in its soil. Yeah. And then we're gonna put this into the gray water system. Oh, how cool. Yeah. They're great for our gray water system, the environment, and of course, our view. We found different flowers all over the family land. Gorgeous. And here's how it's looking right now. Putting us that much closer to being more self-sufficient. We're using our water, using solar power, growing our own food, cooking with the sun, simply using resources from the family land.